Disaster strikes and your municipal water system is gone. What is your plan to get more water once you've exhausted all the stored water that you have? Let's make a plan. Hey, Provident Preppers, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kyleen. And we are so proud of you and all of the progress that you have made on this three-month preparedness challenge. So last week, how did your risk assessment go? Were you able to identify important risks and then figure out some steps that you need to take to mitigate those risks? How about your family plan? Is it so much better than it was? We are so proud of you. This week is week five of the three month preparedness challenge. So we've really made a lot of progress. And today we are going to focus on water acquisition. So after your stored water supply runs out, where are you gonna go get more? And how to purify the water that you find. We will provide you with videos and articles that will help you along this path so that you can get this done. So make sure that you check the description of the video because there'll be a wealth of information and there's so much to know about this. We're not even gonna scratch the surface. Your first task is to identify the water sources near your home and identify what the quality of that water is and the extent that you may have to purify it. So make an actual list of all the water sources that are near your home. As part of that list, you need to understand how far that is from your home and how you're going to transport it. Water is 8.33 pounds per gallon, which gets really heavy, really fast. So how are you gonna transport that water? Uh, what tools do you need to get that done? So when you have containers like this aqua brick, it makes it nice because there are handles, but it's still super heavy and wheels could make all the difference. If you're just getting the water and able to put it in a vehicle, that's one thing. If you're carrying it, that's a whole nother animal. And then once you've got the water home, how are you going to make it safe to drink? There are two major things that can happen to your water. One is biological contaminants and the other are chemical contaminants. So when we talk about disinfecting the water, we're killing the biological stuff in it. One of the things that I think is really good is to be able to boil your water. This is called a Kelly kettle. And the reason why I think it's so great for disasters is because you can burn any kind of biomass in there and then you put this on, it heats up. This is a water jacket and the water boils in here very, very quickly. And then you can just pour the water out and it's been disinfected. Now, if you have chemical contamination in the water, which is very possible, especially during flooding, you're going to want to have some kind of a water filter that will actually filter out the chemical contaminants. So make sure that you do your research and that you have the ability both to remove biological and chemical contaminants. There are so many filters, but you're going to have to get one. So pick one that's in your budget, but that does what you need it to do. And we have some really great videos and other resources to help you understand what filter you should get and how you can go about sorting through the myriad of filters out on the market. And we'll leave some links to our favorites, but just know that just because we like a filter doesn't mean that it's the right one for you because all these filters are different and they filter out different things. So, so make sure that, that you do a little bit of research. Now, did you make any progress on when we talked about week one and rain barrel harvesting? Have you made any progress on that? Because that is an excellent source right at home. And now for the question of the day. For week four, our challenge was to identify the risks and come up with our family plan. So when your research, as you were looking to identify the risks, what did you find and what did you do to mitigate for those risks? Comment below and thanks for being part of the solution.